What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. It is Thursday at 6pm. It is rewards day, apart from the fact that it's not rewards day. EA absolutely obliterated rewards today. For whatever reason, they screwed up somewhere along the way and um, they've had to disable the red picks because, I don't know man, they, I guess like goal two and above wasn't actually getting the guaranteed La Liga players, which sucks. Um, maybe we get a little kit. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no, that's a Chelsea retro kit for this account, isn't it? Yeah, maybe we get a little something here or there for um, season objectives today. But being the new team of the season tomorrow, I don't anticipate anything here. So we're we're going to be pretty much looking at those new upgrade packs that should be uh, coming in. And perhaps a player SBC. Oh, and there you go. Player moments, James Madison. Three segments for him. What did he get this for? Earn a player moments, James Madison, celebrating his win of the E Premier League Invitational. Four star, four star, which is good. High medium, which is good. And then, oh man, that is a good card. 90 Stam. The rest of his physicals are a bit meh, but 90 Stam is nice. His reactions are a little low, but the rest of his dribbling is really well rounded towards the high end. His passing is brilliant. His shooting is brilliant. And his pace is also very good. That is a good squad. The problem is, it's three segments. That's a lot. Okay, the first one is an 83 rated squad with an inform. Not too bad at all. The second one is an 84 rated squad. And the third one is an 85 rated squad. That is not terrible. Um, and of course, you can you can forge this a lot cheaper. Getting like, you know, if you go, if you were thinking to yourself, oh man, I'm never ever going to use these players that are in season objectives. You know, your Regulon, your Mariano, your Falcao, especially these two, because, well, Falcao is all but one in rivals. The rest of them squad battles, and Mariano is all squad battles. That's a 90 and an 89 that you can put in and, and actually get like a James Madison that would be helpful towards your squad. So there he is, an 83 and 84, 85, not too bad. We've then got the La Liga upgrade that's there for 23 hours. Wait, La Liga 2, that's the old one. Is there a new one? Where's the new one? The La Liga Challenge. The tradable team of the week upgrade, the guaranteed team of the season so far, and then the La Liga challenge. Oh, they've done it different. Exchange a squad for one of five La Liga players rated 81 or higher. Oh, so they've given us two extra upgrades, and then there's the La Liga premium. I thought they weren't going to give us that. This, this un is this repeatable? No, this isn't repeatable. So this is just one one player 81 plus. Spain players 1, Nation 7, same league, max 3, chemistry 75, team rating 82. Guys, that is unbelievable. Like, that is not a good deal at all. An 82-rated squad um, for a La Liga player pick, I suppose, that requires 7 nations and the maximum of 3 from 1 league. That, for me, guys, is, is really bad value. We're going to do it anyway, of course, but it is really bad value. Um, so 75 chemistry as well is not going to be easy. Let's go to the Premier League for the left back, left centre mid, because, we, yeah, we're popping uh, Alonso. That's our Spanish player taken care of. Um, in the centre mid role, we can go with James Milner in there. Uh, works towards the Nations. And then last but not least, we'll pop in Trossard as well. Um, and then we'll go to the French League. Uh, for a striker and centre mid variant. So Dembele can go in there. Maybe a Leon uh, centre mid would be nice. Surely I have one. There you go. Alwa gives perfect chem up top. So we're going to get the chemistry here. I don't know if we're going to get an 82 rated squad out of this. This might be quite tricky. I've got some high rated players, but not an unbelievable amount of high rated players. La Liga players, I don't think I have too many. He's untradeable for me. It's a it's a bit of a, a bit of a waste to pop an 84 into this, but at the same time, EA have made this really difficult. Look at that. That's only 80 rated. I've got the chemistry already. Um, and I don't think even with Trippier, I don't think it makes it yeah, it doesn't even make it 82. Like that is crazy. I've got an 84 rated card in there, and it's still not enough. And an 83 rated card in there as well. I'm gonna need probably another 83. Um let's pop in uh let's pop in Lamar as a Frenchman. He should be good for us in there that's still not 82 rated wow oh my days that is really i know i've got a couple of 79s and stuff in there but that is that's is very 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 surprising am i gonna have to go for another 84 that's that is 
I know you guys probably should be able to do it with some 82s and stuff, guys. But even with that, this is just not good value. A player pick pack for one player you get to choose from five. Um, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and open it straight away. And maybe we get a team of the season. I don't, we have got a team of the season. That's amazing. Oh, I mean, that is that is good value in the end. But if you end up getting five players that aren't good, right? If you end up getting five like Diego Costa or Vidal style players, you you just lucked out, man. Like... For an 82 rated squad. Fortunately enough, we got Parejo. It would have been nice if it was one of the amazing team of the seasons. However, we ended up getting a nice big 93 rated team of the season from that pack. That is nice. I don't mind that at all. Um, and then, of course, the La Liga premium upgrade. This is rares only. 11 rares, exactly gold, 45 chemistry. I'd, like This is obviously way better value um, than the... Way better value than the 82 upgrade pack that's still there that you can still grind with this pack now because you're going to be getting so many untradeable La Liga rares. Um, let's just hope. Now, there's quite a few commons as well. So let's hope that the turnaround and the turnover is going to be quite good in terms of uh, what's released. Uh, and that Madison, I, I quite like that Madison. I won't lie. Um, I, I, I think as far as the card goes, four star, four star is super nice. His stamina is nice. His, his kind of like general stats are very good um we've got a few uh, league sbcs here what have we got there that's an 81 two rare player pack let's open that see if we can get a team of the season out of this and also the bundesliga is coming tomorrow we've got boards out of this pack as well is that gonna be another blue no it is a walkout though so there's a byron player of 99 pace and 90 dribbling um that's gonna be godin that's not bad there's a cam with 95 shooting 94 passing and then a 93 rated player with 93 defending and 97 physical um so it does appear well, it doesn't appear that Bundesliga is coming tomorrow. Bundesliga is definitely coming tomorrow, which is really nice. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it, it looks like I think Bundesliga is going to be one of the uh, one of the best ones. Um, so we've got at the back end here. Wait, where's that pack? Where's the pack we just built? The La Liga pack. There it is La Liga Premium Players Pack. Uh, so obviously, building these, you can use your. Um, we don't get a board out of this one. You can use your commons in two-player upgrade packs or just in the League SBC or whatever it may be. You can use your rares in the 82 plus pack and then you hope to hit one of the big ones. And in the meantime, it only takes rare players to build this pack, which is way, way better than the other pack that's there, of course, in my opinion. Um, so let's get on to uh, Footbin real quick, guys. We'll build another couple of uh, packs in a second to end off today's video. Let's get on to Footbin and have a look at that Madison card in-game and look at the new content. I, I do think it's going to be a, 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 not expensive. I don't think it's going to be expensive. So we've got the Liga Challenge, the Premium Upgrade. There is a throwback marquee matchup there as well with the Prime Gold Players Pack, which is quite nice. Um, and the segments are Newcastle Jets versus Central Coast, AZ versus Ajax, Athletic Club versus Atletico Madrid, and Everton against Chelsea. One Everton, one Chelsea. They're going to go through the roof. Uh, two players from Athletic Club or Atletico Madrid. They're going to get expensive. One player from Ajax or AZ. That should keep it quite cheap. And one Hyundai A-League player. So that's not too bad either. Um, so let's have a look at the Madison card. As I say, I, I do believe uh, it's a good card. Compared to his 87, he's been given five physical, four pace, Four shooting, three passing, two dribbling, and three defending. And has he been given a skill move or weak for upgrade? I don't think so. No, he's already been four star, four star. Um, so obviously the one downside to this card is he's got 77 reactions. Um, and Maestro does boost that nicely. I, I like that a lot. Finishing is a bit poor as well. You're not really going to be in the box too much trying to score with him. Um, wow, somebody just tweeted me and they've got Ramos or Moreno from that 81 plus pack. There you go. Um yeah, so good pace for a cam. Um, top agility, of course. You you might want to put a sniper on him and, and make him like that, right? Agility and balance is top tier. His passing is already good. In fact, I think a sniper is probably the best option. A dead eye could be good as well to boost that passing up. But I think in general, the sniper, uh, I think that for me, four star, four star, high, medium work rates. In as a cam, I think he's going to be brilliant. It's a shame uh, he only has the flare trait, uh, long shot and playmaker, obviously AI. But yeah, Madison with a sniper is very good value. We'll come back in a second uh, once the segments have been updated. Uh, 38 million at the moment for Madison, which I think is a bit extreme. Uh, we'll come back in a second and have a little look at um, at what the cost is actually going to be based off what I think the pr prices are going to be coming in at. 
I think it's going to be somewhere around 180 to 200k with three packs back. They're not the best packs though, which is sad. Um, but uh, there, wow, guys. I mean, there is a lot to play for right now, huh? The La Liga challenge there as well, which is still there. Uh, the guarantees. Maybe I should do the La Liga team of the season so far guaranteed on this account. Um, do we want to end off with that? Let's end off with that. We already got Parejo, so we can put Parejo in here and then get an 87 rated squad outside of that. And let's just go for my La Liga high rateds. I know I had a lot of them. So we're going to put Parejo in. What are the odds on us getting Parejo back out again? I'd say pretty high, wouldn't you? Uh, pop a Jordi Alba in. What does it have to be? 87 rated. We could pop him in. That Kubo is quite a nice card. Uh, Koke, Longley. These are mostly untradeable from me as well, guys, from just all the the the, the time spent over the course of the year um, on this account, getting everything that we've uh, everything that we've been picking up. Um, and then we'll throw a Suarez in there. That should probably already be an 87 rated squad. Yeah, it's very, very, very close. Um, the chemistry is already good as well. Let's swap those two around there. Let's pop him down there. And then let me just get any left wing. If I've got a left wing, like a, an 83, 84 left wing, 86 Sané, don't really want to use. 82 Sanchez can go in. See, that's 87. This account, I don't care about. Let's turn that in. Let's get this um, guaranteed La Liga team of the season pack open. And of course, as per usual, guys, Tweet me, twitter.com slash Nepenthes, instagram.com slash Nepenthes. Let me know what you guys get out of these packs. I'm already seeing on my timeline that 81 plus pack, as expensive as it's going to be, people are getting mad things out of that. I'm seeing all sorts of team of the seasons being pulled. So it might be a nice juiced pack, right? So what we've got, it should be at the back for the guaranteed. So here we go to end off today's video guys a guaranteed la liga team of the season so far player again if you enjoyed the content drop a thumbs up on the video it'd be very much appreciated come on give me the french flag man give me something nice something nice it's german so it's cruz or der stegen it's cruz so we basically swapped out a parejo for a cruz not really the best in the world um this uh this player moments james madison is still not quite coming in at a reasonable price according to footman he's 104 million which i don't think is good to pay I do think it's going to come in somewhere around may, maybe even like 200 to 250k. In general, I think it's worth it because you can craft it very comfortably. You know, it, if it was an 87 and like an 84, I'd be like, okay, this is a bit extreme. But as an 83, an 84 and an 85, I think that's very manageable to craft. I think the card itself is really good. I definitely think it's worth it. This is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.